Okay, what I'm going to do is make some compost in this wire cage. And what I'm going to use, first of all, is cage. And I'm, sh I'm shooting for like an 18 inch in diameter cage. First of all, I get this about 18 inches. Okay, right about there. My favorite fasteners I'm going to use here, which is the uh, zip tie. Run it through. Okay, there we go. And then we'll put another one on the bottom. Keep it all nice and parallel here. Okay. Then we have our 18 inch inside diameter. Set it down. Okay, the next step is to put some uh, twigs, branches and twigs on the bottom. Now the reason for this is to uh, get a little ventilation going, keep some air flow on the bottom, because it'll, it'll compost a little better that way. Okay, just put a layer of these in here. small stuff mostly. I've been collecting it over here just for this purpose. Get a, you know, a couple inches. Okay, on top of that, you want to put some leaves. I've got corn husks here that I've been saving from when we have corn on the cob for supper. So I'm put a little bit of that on top of the twigs. You can use leaves, anything that's a little bit drier. Again, give it a little, a little platform to build your pile on. Now on top of that, we're going to put a little bit of dirt. Just a couple shovel pulls do fine. Okay, the next stage of this, I have this, um, this old plastic um, pot happen to be from a tree. Anyway, I've cut the bottom out, and so I'm going to set this down on top of my what I've built here, and I'm going to pour compost, the kitchen waste material, inside of that. And this thing is going to hold it in place. Pretty much, you get almost a whole five gallon cake on there. Okay, the next step then is to shovel dirt all around this, this pot that's now full of compost. And see how the, the uh, sides of this are holding it in. So the concept is you're going to have the decomposable material, kitchen waste, pretty much stuck on the inside. Now, some of it does come around the outside, of course, through the, through the openings in the chain, in the wire cage. Okay, we're filling up our cage with dirt around the compost. You can go around the outside edge like this, pick up the, some of the dirt that's sifted through. Completely cover up your pot in the middle. Now with our original pot underneath here, this is where we can pull out the pot, and of course the yard waste stays inside, or the uh, kitchen waste stays inside there. And now we're set up uh, to build another layer. And it's all more or less symmetrical. Equal amount of dirt around the outside, little space for air on the inside. And it will result in uh, good quality compost in a fairly short time. Okay, here we go, just finishing off our our compost cage. I'm going to call it a compost cage. Not a bin, really. A little bit different. Going to try to top it off with some dirt right on top. 
This one didn't, this batch right here didn't fill the entire the cage up, or the entire pot up. So I don't really need to cover it too much further. About that high will be more than enough. Okay. And there it is. It's going to sit there and decompose for a while. I've been doing this for a little while now, and I like the way it comes out. It's easy. It has advantages over a pile, which winds up having a point on the top. Uh, this kind of keeps it all in a, a nice little cylindrical shape, so everything is nice and even. Just appeals to me. And after a couple of weeks, I'll turn this, and then another couple of weeks, uh, it's usable. Okay, it's, uh, it's May now, and my compost is ready. Uh, one other advantage of this type of bin is uh, you can break it down fairly quickly into a pile and, uh, and then use it, as I'm going to be doing here this spring. And the other thing is, you can put it anywhere. It doesn't take up much space. Put it wherever you want it. I like to keep it right in the garden. That's where I use the compost. So when I um, break it down, I can uh, have it right where I need it. And also, I think I'm going to build another one of these because uh, they're simple to make, and I'm going to be making a lot of compost this, this spring and summer. Okay, thanks for watching this video.